and there's no convincing these dogs. You can't negotiate with them. Getting through an alarm is fine, but you're not getting around the dog. This might just be Britain's toughest dog. Drago, a 92-pound Doberman, has been trained to take down burglars. We jump over the wall, try break into the house with balaclavas. They'll let the dog out and the dog will attack us. We will train the dog for real life situations. No one attacks you with dog training equipment such as sleeves or whips. Someone's going to attack you with a metal bar or point a gun at you. And these dogs have to be ready for anything. Stop still. Out! Trained by friends Lidor Borland and Robert Dye, the protection dogs sell to the rich and famous for over £20,000. The prices vary, it really depends on dogs. They can sell anywhere from £10,000 way upwards of that. Some people are really high priority and are really fear for their life. I've also we've sold to quite a few foreign dignitaries, premiership footballers and just sort of affluent people. Robert and Lidor search far and wide for the right dogs to train. For sourcing our dogs, it's, it's, it's a very difficult thing to do because, I mean, I go to Serbia a lot, we go to Czech Republic, we go to Moscow, we go to America. We might see a hundred dogs, but we'll only come back with one. We really test for the temperament of the dog. We don't actually look for vicious dogs or aggressive dogs whatsoever. We're just looking for strong, stable dogs. But despite their ferocity in the face of attack, Lidor and Robert insist the dogs they train are also safe family pets. These dogs we trust we're our own family members, friends, kids. We could never sell a dog like this if it had any sort of aggression to our kids. One bite of this dog from a kid and we're over. People who say they've got no off switch is a complete nonsense. I mean, this dog had killed Rob for me now, but at the same time, we'll sit and lick him. He's yeah. got no personal attachment. Completely, no, completely stable. Completely stable dog.